Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is the weather briefing for the week from the National Weather Service in Spokane on Monday, April 18th, 2011. Cooler than average conditions should continue this week uh, through at least Friday. Uh, Monday through Wednesday of that period looks much like uh, the last several days have been with showery conditions, a uh, mix of rain and snow with some small hail uh, in there each and every day with below normal temperatures each and every day. Wednesday night into Thursday, uh, another more vigorous cold system moves into the area from the northwest with a chance of accumulating snowfall in some of the valleys. We've got a slide, uh, a few down the line here to illustrate that a little better. After that system moves out, Friday into Saturday, drier and a bit warmer conditions look to move into the area. Uh, we may actually see the 60s for the first time in what seems like forever come Saturday. But then Sunday into the early part of next week, uh, return to the wet and windy weather pattern with below normal temperatures returning for the foreseeable future after that. Monday through Wednesday this week will look much like the last couple of weeks have looked with a trough of low pressure anchored over the northwestern part of the country. This means showery conditions and temperatures uh, 10 or 15 degrees below normal for high temperatures with those rain, snow, and even soft hail or grapple showers continuing uh, for the valleys and snowfall in the mountains uh, for the first half of the week. That system that I talked about moves in Wednesday night into Thursday. This system is a little deeper uh, than any of the ones that we've seen recently. Should be a rather compact system and with cold air in place, cold air on this uh, graph is indicated by the blue shading. Those are all the areas that should be below freezing on Wednesday night. Uh, so that encompasses our entire area. In association with that system, Wednesday night into Thursday, there could be a very short period of local accumulations of snow, including the valley areas that will basically be bound by a line from Republic to Spokane down to the Palouse and northward. Uh, those areas could see some accumulating snow uh, Wednesday night into Thursday, and we'll be refining that forecast as the week goes on, but it's certainly something to keep an eye on. After that, uh, going into the, the Saturday time frame, once that system moves to the east, a ridge of high pressure will move into the area. This means a period of at least 24 hours of dry conditions, uh, with temperatures warming progressively during this little, little ridging pattern. Saturday could actually be the first 60 degree day for Spokane, and that would, that would already set a record uh, for the latest 60 degree day uh, on record in Spokane. After Saturday, and for the next week or so after that, the 18, 8 to 14 day temperature outlook has a high confidence below normal temperatures uh, for all of the northwest and a high confidence in above normal precip uh, as well during that time frame. And to take a look back at the spring that we've had so far, the top graph is the mean temperature uh, for the last 30 days. And you can see all those blues, those are temperatures generally averaging below 45 degrees on the top graph. The, the bottom graph there shows the temperature anomaly, so all the blue areas are areas that have been below normal in the country, and all the red areas are areas that have been above normal. And you can see our entire area is solidly in that blue color with below normal temperatures uh, over the last month. Now we'll turn it over to Catherine with a look at a little bit of hydrology over the area. This graph you're looking at here is the Washington snow water equivalent in the different basins based off the NRCS snow tells. And you can see we're above average in all of our basins in the area. And this just keeps climbing from week to week, uh, day to day. And looking over at Idaho, it's the same story, um, keeps climbing up there to we're gaining snowpack in all of our high elevations uh, same story in Montana upstream of Idaho we have seen a little bit of snow melt at some of the sites below 5,000 feet but even those are probably going to start gaining again um, this next week so short term we don't have flooding concerns on our rivers but we're looking out for the longer term if we get a sudden warm-up or um, even in some of these basins just a regular melt might be enough to cause some flooding with the spring runoff. 
And this here is just an example of a snow water equivalent water year graph. The blue line is the snow water equivalent. The red line is the water year precip. And that curve, parabola, is what we would see for the average. And so pretty much on all the snow tails across the area, we would expect to see them melting off by now. And this is looks very similar from the East Cascades all the way over to Montana, where we're still seeing that uh, snowpack gain instead of melt off like we would expect to see. So in summary, we're going to continue to see the cold and showery weather uh, for the foreseeable future with the exception of Saturday. And there's some chances for accumulating snows Wednesday night into Thursday. And like Mike said, we might get to hit 60 on Saturday. We'll wait and see if that actually happens. And then after Saturday, we'll move back into the cold, wet, uh, windy pattern that we've seen for, seems like,